Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be reinvestigating the mystery of Vetter's Echo, which is a cabin located in the Big Valley region of West Elizabeth. It lies southwest of Hanging Dog Ranch across the Little Creek River. And you guys probably famously know this cabin as the jump scare bear cabin, because if you actually go to this cabin for the first time, you will be met with a large grizzly bear, which will attack you whether you enter from the front or the back, something like this. <laughs> So this encounter will happen whether you're playing as Arthur Morgan or in the epilogue as John Marston. And as we've investigated in the past, there's a couple of interesting things about the cabin itself. Uh, first of which, let's talk about what you can actually find in there. Uh, the first two significant things I would say are these two poems that you can uh, find inside of the desk drawers. The Dear Annabella poem and a Day's Walk poem can both be found. Now, at first, I thought, and this is just one of my own personal theories, that this was the secret cabin of Dutch Vanderlyn because we know that Dutch had a lover before the game started and that we hear about throughout the story, Annabelle. So you think Annabella, Annabelle, very similar there. Inside the cabin, you can also find a pipe, which is a specific request from Dutch that you get in chapter two. So that's where that theory sort of comes in that this used to be Dutch's secret cabin. There's a handful of other things in there as well a pocket watch, cigarette cards. Uh, you can also find a cheat code in there as well. You want punishment. Now, there are a couple reasons to suggest that this is not Dutch's cabin. Like, for example, inside there is a dead man who was actually killed by the bear. He lies face down on the edge of the bed, and across from it sits a messy desk and a typewriter, and beneath the desk lies an upturned easel, likely having been knocked over during the bear attack. It also makes you wonder why Dutch would ever be out here, what he would be doing in there. Uh, you never really see him away from the gang, so why all of a sudden would he have this little secret cabin? Although, Dutch does have a ton of secrets, so it's not totally shocking that he might have a secret place to write poems. He does do a lot of reading and listening to music, so it sort of fits the theme of what Dutch might ultimately do uh, during his free time. But the big mystery that we're going to be going over today is that large grizzly bear might not have just attacked Vetter's Echo. This grizzly bear might have been a serial killer, if you want to call him that, and that it looks like there were multiple locations in which he attacked. So if you actually go to the southeast and sort of go up the cliffside, which at first I was like, I have no idea where I'm going here or if my horse is going to fall over, if this is going to be the end of me right now. But I ended up traveling up the cliffside and there was an interesting discovery that can actually be made. So on the cliff, you're actually going to find like a little bit of a tent, another sort of secret campsite. Although it looks like something has severely gone wrong here, uh, as you guys can see. So immediately the first thing I noticed was the bloodstained tent. And we'll talk about some of the stuff that you can actually gather from this location. But just looking at the tent itself, I think it's very clear that this same bear that was in Vetter's Echo basically just started up here and was making his way down the hill. 
Obviously, the blood is a bad sign, but you can also see the tear marks and the claw marks that are also very similar and would indicate a bear attack, not only on the ground where you see pools of blood, but on the tent itself where the fabric is completely torn and shredded away. It's very clear that a bear attack happened at this location. Which means our scary bear down there is a serial killer. This isn't the first time he's done something like this. Now, there is a couple of things that you can grab here, which also indicates that this was a bear attack. The first is a lockbox, and inside the lockbox, you find something that I think is a dead giveaway. You find high-velocity rifle cartridges, which to me indicates that someone here was a hunter. And you also find predator bait alongside special miracle tonic. So the predator bait, dead giveaway. They were obviously trying to hunt big predators like bears. And then the high-impact, high-velocity rifle cartridges, I think that's very obvious they would have been hunters as well. Now, there wasn't any weapons found at this place, and there wasn't any more ammo that was found either. That was the only thing in the lockbox. And it would make sense why this is there, because obviously the bear wouldn't be able to get access to what's inside. It's a lockbox after all. Now, the only other thing I was able to gather from this location was, again, things that a bear would not be interested in. A coin sack, which ended up giving me $11.59, and a silver pocket watch. Basically, nothing that a bear would find yummy to eat. However, and this is something I also noticed, there was no food lying around, which also makes sense. The bear probably ate everything. So that's why you see like shattered dishes, overturned pots and pans, because any food that was here was probably consumed by the bear. Now, the only other thing that I was able to gather from this location, which also sort of makes sense why I didn't find anything, was simply just moonshine. I can't imagine a bear uh, was going to be indulging in any moonshine. So it's not surprising that the bear ended up leaving that behind. Now, you also can't really do anything to the tent area itself. It's fixed in place. It can't really be destroyed. Uh, even with like a fire bottle or dynamite, you can't really do anything uh, in this area. But this is an interesting little secret here. I mean, it is cool the stuff that you can get, like the Predator Bait and the Miracle Tonic pamphlet and just some other like little goodies. But I think Rockstar put this here to tell us a deeper story of what's going on at Vetter's Echo, that the bear was not just like stumbling his way and found that cabin. Like this bear was a mean serial killer bear, if you can even call a bear that, because that was not his first rodeo in taking someone out to get some food. So it really just makes the story all that much darker and creepier that that bear wasn't just really hanging out in that cabin, but instead was going from campsite to campsite, cabin to cabin, looking for people as their meal. And that was going to be either Arthur or John if they uh, did not act swiftly enough. So I thought this really added some fun to the mystery here is much fun as getting eaten by a bear could be, but I, I found this little secret of Vetter's Echo to be very, very cool, or this extension to the story. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about this new addition, this new find to Vetter's Echo, and you can also reach out to me on my Facebook page if you have questions or want to send me photos, videos, messages, and more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.